Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is a continuation for the topic object oriented programming and in this video we are going to see about the topic object assignment. Let us consider two class handles called pk and pkt underscore one this is one class handle of packet and pkt underscore two this is another handle. Here we are assigning the object for pkt underscore one by the keyword new and here we are copying pkt underscore two equal to pkt underscore one. So an object is created only for pkt underscore one. pkt underscore two is just is just a handle to the packet. pkt underscore one is assigned to the pkt underscore two. So only one object has been created. pkt underscore one and pkt underscore two are two handles. Both are pointing to same object. As both the handles are pointing to the same object, any changes made with respect to the packet one will reflect to packet two. Let us see an example for this object assignment. So let us take a class called packet, and here we are declaring two variables of 32-bit size of bit data type called address and data, and here we are ending the class packet and and here we are declaring the packet handles called packet pkt underscore one and packet pkt underscore two. Here we are declaring two handles. And here we are creating an object for pkt underscore one by using the keyword new. And here we are copying the object from pkt underscore one to pkt underscore two. This method is object assignment. So with the assignment, both the objects will point to the same memory. Here we are creating the object for the handle pkt underscore one by using the new by using the keyword new. So for only the handle pkt underscore one, the memory is created here. We can see here. So pkt underscore one will have address and data in the memory. Here we are assigning pkt underscore one to pkt underscore two. So pkt underscore two will also be pointing to the same memory here. So by object assignment, when we do object assignment, then two handles will point towards same memory. Let's see other example for object assignment. Here we have declared a class called transaction and here we are declaring the member called data of int type. And here we are declaring two handles called trans underscore h1 and trans underscore h2 of class of type transaction type. Here we are declaring the handles. Declaring the handles. Within initial beginning block, we are creating memory for the handle trans underscore h1 by using the keyword new and we are and we are assigning the value of data using this trans underscore h1 handle and we are assigning it to a value of 10. So here trans underscore h1 will dot data will be equal to 10. So inside, so a memory for trans underscore h1 is created. So in this trans underscore h1 a variable data will store a value of 10. Here we are doing object in next step we are doing object assignment. So the second handle trans underscore h2 will not have separate memory it will also be pointing to the same memory of which is pointed by the trans underscore h1 and when we try to modify the data using the handle trans underscore h2 and if we assign it to 50 then the existing data will be deleted and new data will be updated and 10 will be updated to 50. So output data will be 50. So this is about object assignment. In this object assignment, 
the two handles will be pointing to the same memory. Thank you for watching this video.